So last year in the fall, when I was planting my garlic in the ground, I decided to try planting garlic in the containers to see how it would do over the winter. I live in a very cold climate here in Saskatchewan, Canada. So growing in containers over winters is a bit of a challenge, but I thought maybe I would give it a try with garlic just because growing in the ground here, I struggle with a lot of quack grass and weeds. So I thought this is something that maybe I'll give a try doing in containers. Now I've been told by a lot of gardeners that you probably won't have much luck with it because of the cold temperatures and the lack of insulation in a container that this probably won't work. But I thought I'll give it a try anyway. So I had these 30 gallon tubs that I use for various um, annuals such as potatoes and squash and tomatoes and thought I would use a couple to do some hard neck garlic. So I started off by preparing the containers with some compost and soil along with some 444 fertilizer just so that in the spring when the uh, garlic starts sprouting it has a good supply of food and I thought that it might also be helpful when planting these to plant them a little bit away from the edges you know two or three inches towards the center of the container that way maybe there'd be a little more insulation if they weren't too close to the edges where you know it probably is colder and maybe that center area of the container wouldn't freeze as hard so i planted up about six or eight of these hard neck garlic cloves in the tub and then covered them up with another good layer of soil and then after that, I finished it off by giving them a really thick layer of dried leaves, about three or four inches, just to give it some extra insulation and gave it a good watering so that it was good and moist before freeze up and just left them to see what would happen in the spring. So then I did some planting in the ground in the area that I always do my garlic. I did my best to pull out as much of the quack grass out of this area as I could. They have really long roots that grow sideways in the soil, so they can be really challenging to keep, to keep under control. But I did get three rows of garlic planted up in the space and covered it up with some more soil and also gave it another thick layer of some dried leaves and it was ready to wait through the winter to see what happens in the spring. So now it is the middle of June here in the spring of 2024 and I just wanted to show you my garlic that I grew in the ground. I was complaining a lot about weeds and grass and um, I did manage to give it a really good weeding this spring. We've had a lot of rain, so we had a lot of quack grass growing everywhere. But as you can see, I have a really nice crop of hard neck garlic coming up here and it's looking pretty good. So let's head over to my containers and see how the garlic is making out there. So here is the two containers that I had planted up my garlic in last fall and as you can see sadly absolutely nothing came up this spring. I was really disappointed. Um, at the end of May, early June when things were starting to warm up I removed the thick layer of dried leaves that I had put on top of each of these containers hoping that you know the warmth um, of the sun would get to it and I would see some sprouting action with the garlic but I guess it was just too cold you know the containers aren't insulated on the outside so the cold temperatures of the winter must have killed off the garlic and we did have actually one of the warmest winters on record we had very few days where the temperature dropped into the minus 30 degrees Celsius mark which you know does happen a lot in our winters for extended periods of time but it's like I said this winter was one of our warmest and this garlic still did not grow so growing containers has been a failure for me but I thought we'd just kind of dig down into the dirt here and have a look to see if we can pull up the garlic and and see if there's any sign of sprouting in there so I thought I'll just do some digging up here see if we can find some of the cloves that I planted I can't remember how deep they went but
So we had a very cool wet spring this year, which has made, you know, things grow really well this spring, including the weeds and the quack grass, but I am uh, getting ahead of it, I think, and keeping uh, things well weeded. As you can see, my garlic, so things like my garlic and the flower beds that I usually have my perennials in have been growing really well and just keeping up with the quack grass has been a challenge for me. So I'm not sure if the cloves of garlic like just completely rotted out. I am finding, okay, here's one here. So yeah, basically they just look like they are just rotted right out. So I'm not sure. They probably must have just froze in the winter time, died, and then this spring they just basically have rotted and are breaking down. So you know I just wanted to give this a try to see if I could have success in uh, growing garlic in containers over winter. If anybody has had experience in a cold climate and had success with um, different growing techniques with garlic other than directly into the ground, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So as you can see, the crop that I did plant in the ground was doing really well and I should be seeing some garlic scapes coming soon in the next few weeks. So yeah, here I am finding some more of the, the rotted garlic here in these containers. So even though that was a fail, the, I still have these two containers here that are full of some beautiful moist soil. So as I mentioned, we're about three weeks into June, and so there's still time to grow a few things here in our short season. I'm going to try these pole beans here that have a maturity of 50 to 65 days. Get a few going in each of these containers, and hopefully in the fall we'll have a nice harvest of some pole beans. So I just wanted to share the results of this experiment and let you know that um, it wasn't a success, but not to uh, give up on trying new methods in your garden. It's always great to just try different things and see if it works for you and your climate and, and with the things you like to grow. So I will continue doing my garlic in the ground where it seems to do really well here in my climate. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel.